Actually, for us. Wagon. Smart water. All the usual stuff. And it's gone in for us. Chewy. It is very windy today, so yeah, apologies for any wind noise. I'm trying to sort it out, and I'm also trying to get a mic sorted. So, as we're here, anyway, it is parked on double yellow lines. How am I driving? Call this number, and it's parked on double yellows. Not very good, then. Yeah. There's no actual sign saying about any restrictions, just double yellow lines. The best thing about this park is where it's parked. There's, there's no actual cameras facing down this way. Um, we've got a disused shop next to us here, the old house of Fraser. Um, Attended and gone into, gone round the back of wherever. Back again. About 15 minutes later. I've literally got round the corner and come back. And he's only just come back. Huh? Well, I just wanted to take a picture of the van. Yeah, but... What? Taking a picture of the van is suspicious, mate, so end of the day, please. Oh, I'll walk around the whole thing and take take a whole video. 360 if I want. Yeah, yeah, police can be in a touch and I'll tell them to do one as well. Carry on with your job, mate. They think just because I'm taking pictures of the van, he's going to get the police involved, go and touch with the police, and then they're going to come and have a word with me. Okay, we'll wait until he comes back out, and then when he comes back out, we'll walk around the van so he can watch us doing it to see what he actually does. So he's coming back out. And we're gonna do it. Ready? You want me to do a full 360? And he's gone. But apparently he's gonna ring the place and report me. thing about it is he's getting his phone ready now even though he's got a body cam oh no he's jotting in details 
quite an interesting um, occupation, to be honest. I thought he was going to say he was going to ring the police. I mean, I was printed out his ticket. Label it as job done. And nothing's gonna happen because he's not gonna ring the police. Is he? He's not ringing the place. He's starting the van and he's going. All that because I'm interested in the occupation. One day, I want one of these guys to just turn around and smile and then carry on with the day. Absolutely amazing. This amazed me. Bird sirens get quite close to them, turn off. So fuck knows what that's all about. But I haven't filmed inside the van. Nothing like that. I don't know. 
always feel like when you pick up such a dangerous object like a camera. See, the best thing about this video is I'm actually waiting on an appointment for a job. Now, scratch that. I'll edit that bit out. I'm actually waiting for an appointment now. Um, and he doesn't know I've got to wait around half an hour for the appointment. So, I've only got about half an hour to wait. If he's willing to sit and wait half an hour, or he's coming half an hour, but we'll see. They're still on the phone, he's looking even more angry or angrier on the phone. Have they told him to do the right thing and just drive away? Leave it and drive. have to report the incident of a man filming because he's been told to is that his training that's let him down jesus stupid right now oh he's finished on the phone writing something down what's his next steps drive away well, the whole time he's been sat there, no sheep belt on. Engine running. I believe he's sat down, he's just put on the dash, ready to go. There's no seat belt on. Lord Almighty put a seat belt on. Before you drive away. Especially for a pedestrianised area. No seat, but as you can see, oh, he's now got his hazards on. Is he going to pull away with no seat, but still? What is he going to do? Or are we actually waiting for the police? Oh no! There we go. Seat belt finally going on. And he's going to be off. Goodbye. No police, as of yet.